Alright, I was trying to convince myself that my Star Adventure was actually dithering or connected over the ST4 port to my PC and I couldn't really hear or see any motion on the thing and I thought I had it connected wrong but I instrumented a dial indicator that I clamped down onto the base of my tripod right there and I'm actually able to see it move so I'll show you a couple things on the uh, on the Star Adventure that are that are kind of cool so let's see so right now you can see on the needle that it's not really it's not really moving so let's go ahead and switch it over to star mode or star guiding mode I guess so it's set on northern hemisphere right now so if you watch it actually t seems like it takes a minute for it to start but if you look see the needle down there see I was at 42 43 44 so it kicks, you know, it kicks on. So let's go ahead and turn this off. Switch the polar, uh, the hemisphere over to south and check it out. It's going to go back the opposite direction. I did notice if you just throw the switch between south and north, it doesn't actually, it doesn't actually, um, change directions and it seems like it takes a long time for it to start moving in the opposite direction I don't know if it's just barely creeping along and trying to overcome the backlash on the gears or something but if you look so it's cruising back it's 44 43 and so on um, anyway since you know I live on the northern half of the planet I'll leave this thing over in north um, so let's try the rapid advance button over on this side see what that does yeah see that that thing really cruises when you hit that let me hit the other you know the other rapid advance button oh other other button okay there we go back the other direction and i will swing around here when I said rapid advance button, I think there might be a different name for it in the manual, but it's these these two buttons right here is what I was messing with. All right, so the thing that I was actually trying to test is the connection between my my little uh, ZWO camera that's plugged into USB 3 through this cable, and then it's got an ST4 uh, port over here that goes to the auxiliary connection what do they call that uh, the auto guider connection down here so that you know this this cable comes with it um, anyway I wasn't convinced this thing was actually hooked up to the computer so let's see yeah so we'll go over into manual guide and then we have to go east and west because this thing only goes those directions but if you watch see now in, in the time I've been I've been talking it uh you know we moved on but if you watch so let's let's kick it over to the west and watch what happens to the needle you, you'll see it actually speed up a little bit and that should yeah see now it's slowed back down so it'll speed up I've got a set for like you know 2,000 milliseconds so it'll speed up for about you know two seconds and when when you hit that so i think if we hit the east it's going to actually almost whoa, stop all right so hit the east button see that thing almost crawls to a stop for about two seconds and it kicks back on again so that thing is i'll hit the west again see how it's sped up and then you can see so slow down. So here's here's what I'm talking about when I say east and west button. That's on the manual guide. It's just those those two directions. So anyway, I hooked all this up, convinced myself it's it's auto guiding, and I'm you know I'm pretty happy with it.